This is copied from an original contrabassoon, which I have, which was made in about 1810. And Beethoven himself may well have heard it, we don't know. But I made this copy about seven years ago. People ask, ask the question, how did the contrabassoon um, arise? How did it come about? Well, uh, they were shawm bands, 15th and 16th century, and they decided to have a, a gross bass pommer, which was a very large shawm and it developed from that. Um, what happened was that there were Austrian marching bands on the continent where they needed a 16 foot sound to go below the bassoons. So this is how this contra came about. Uh, the range of the classical contra bassoon is two and a half octaves, starting on low C, which we have here, and going up to high G. So Beethoven used the full range in his Fifth Symphony, incorporating trombones and the contrabassoon for the first time in any symphony. So it was a really new thing for him and for everybody. The technology to make these instruments advanced quite a lot. Um, the modern contrabassoon has a bow at the top, which this instrument doesn't have. They didn't have the technology, so the instrument went straight up. And also the modern contrabassoon has many, many more keys, which help you with all the chromatic notes. Um, it's probably easier to hold because it sits on the floor, whereas this sits either on a sling or on a, on a belt. The classical is generally much softer and has some really nice pure notes. But it also has some terrible notes. which are difficult to get because you haven't got extra keys that you have on the modern one. The modern one is also louder because the bore is bigger. Uh, so you produce a much bigger sound for the modern symphony orchestra uh, with steel strings and louder brass with bigger bore. Um, here are the two sorts of reeds, the one on the right is on my right is the classical contrabassoon reed. The one on the left is the modern one. As you see, it's much shorter, so it makes the pitch higher. The thing about starting a project on the classical contrabassoon is you really have to prepare the reeds and the embouchure is different. So you're controlling the reed in a different way to the modern one, which is almost sound the same but not quite. So you see more difficult to make the reeds as well because they're much thicker and longer. Haydn, as we all know, was a master of orchestration. He wrote three oratorios which use the contrabassoon. One was the creation. Uh, in the creation the, the contrast featured in many of the choruses but in one particular bass aria, number 21, it describes the beasts in the field. And this really is one note which everybody can remember from the piece.